Hey, welcome back once again, options traders. Well, a question that I get a lot from traders is why does the Delta accelerate for the out of the money options? Now, traders don't often phrase the question this way, but this is really what they're asking about. And the reason that this comes up is they will either buy out of the money options or in a lot of cases, sell out of the money options. And they find out that they think they're in a safe spot because these option strikes are so far out of the money, but then they get a little tiny bit of a move against them and they find that these deltas start growing rapidly. And that can, depending on the strategies, actually reverse your outlook, could flip it from bullish to bearish or bearish to bullish. It can cause a lot of problems. So it's not saying that out of the money options are bad. Like all options, they are tools, but you need to understand their characteristics. And this is an important one for every options trader to know. So let's go have a look. Why does the Delta accelerate for your out of the money options? So let's start with our bell curve and recall what this means is that at any current stock price, there's an implied bell curve sitting directly over that stock. And so what it's telling you is that the height of the curve notice is showing you the probability for this particular stock price to occur. So most of the time, let's say day to day price changes should be pretty close to what they were today. And that's just saying that tomorrow's stock price is far more likely to be about like today's stock price than something way up here to the right or way down here to the left. Could it happen? Of course, but take a look at the height of the bell curve. See, it's lining up to very small probabilities. So they do happen, but they just don't happen a lot. Same thing for very large price moves. The height of the bell curve over here is fairly small. So it's telling us that we have a very low probability for the stock prices out here. So that's what's giving shape to this bell curve. Let's take a look at an at the money strike. So recall what this means. At the money means that the strike price is the same as the current stock price, or at least pretty close. So think about it. If this is our strike right here down the center and our stock price, what's the probability for this option to go in the money? Well, it's all of the area to the right here in blue. And because this blue area represents about 50% of the bell curve, we would say that this option has a delta of about 50. That's another interpretation of delta. It gives us roughly the probability for the option to expire in the money. So this is a good visual of where your delta is coming from. So right now we've got an at the money option with a delta of a half or 50. And let's say that the stock price now moves $1 to the right. It's moved a dollar higher and look what happened to our bell curve. It's now taken a step $1 to the right. So the center of the bell curve has moved over here, but our strike price doesn't move. Right? Once you buy a particular strike, it never changes. Stock price can change, but your strike price doesn't. So how much additional blue area have we added? Well, we've added this portion. And this red portion is the additional deltas that this option gained. And of course, that is gamma. Gamma simply shows by how much your deltas have changed. Let's say the stock moves another dollar to the right. Bell curve shifts one dollar to the right. And we've now increased the amount of the blue area to blue plus red plus green. Stock price moves another dollar. Now our bell curve has moved another step to the right. We've increased the shaded area from just the blue to blue plus red plus green plus yellow. So you can see what's happening is that as the stock price moves, pushing this option further and further in the money, that this colored area, the shaded region, eventually fills in the whole curve and that's when the delta becomes one. What that's saying at that point is that the bell curve is so far to the right, so if our strike was way out here in this left tail, we're saying that even if the stock price makes a really big move to the downside, this is still going to be an in the money option at that point because this bell curve has moved so far to the right. So if you understand that, you can see why your deltas will accelerate for the out of the money options. So for instance, let's say that our stock is right here in the center, but now we have an out of the money call. This is our strike out here. What's the probability for this option to go in the money? Well, it's all of this area to the right. It would be the blue plus the green plus the red plus this yellow plus this gray. It's this entire tail would be the probability for this strike to be in the money at expiration. 
And of course, relatively speaking, it's a fairly small probability. But take a look at what happens as this bell curve moves to the right. As that happens, this portion of the bell curve eventually starts becoming in the money. And look what's happening to the height of these bars. We go from, let's say, this yellow to the red. Notice how much bigger the red bar is than the yellow. You've added, relatively speaking, a lot more deltas. Then it moves to the green. Relatively speaking, you've added a lot more deltas compared to when you had just the red bar. Then it moves to the blue. Look at how much taller the blue bar is than the green. You've added a lot more deltas. So you can see that that only happens from this portion when you're really ramping up from this flat portion to here where you're getting this acceleration. But notice what happens if you have an at the money option. Stock price is near the center here. Take a look at the height of these bars. See whether the stock price moves up or down a little bit, the height of these bars is really about the same. So that's showing you that your gamma isn't real sensitive when you have at the money options. It's adding and subtracting about the same number of deltas each time. But if you're dealing with out of the money options like this, or in this case, out of the money put options over on the left tail, it's a very different story. And this is what gives rise to the normalized vega that I've talked about in a previous video. These are all areas that options traders must be aware of because it can cause unwanted surprises. It can also end up being some very good things, but you don't want to trade on just unexpected surprises. Now, once you understand why your deltas are accelerating, you'll see that it's not just from the stock price moving, but it could also be from volatility moving. There's two ways I can get these colored bands here to come into the picture. I could either move this bell curve to the right and these start coming into play, or I could keep the stock price the same and increase the volatility. And you can see what happens. Now those bars are going to get a lot taller, a lot faster. And of course, if you get increased volatility and the stock price moving against you, that's when you can end up with some really bad unwanted surprises. So the thing to understand is about accelerating deltas and why that happens. It happens particularly with your out of the money options when they begin moving in the money. That's when you're going to see them really accelerate those deltas. It can also happen when these out of the money options experience rising volatility. But both of these together will accelerate your deltas that much faster. And again, this is where people get into trouble at say selling out of the money put options, naked puts thinking it's free money, selling very far out of the money calls as part of a covered call. They're not receiving a lot of money. They don't get a lot of a downside hedge, but they always have this risk of these quickly accelerating deltas. And so it's this whole concept of accelerating deltas that create the dangers for sellers of out of the money options. And for anyone who'd like to learn more about the arts and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course, Strategy Lab, and a technical analysis course. It's all at optionsa to z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.